Welcome to Nave's cooking show. Because we're trying to eat healthy here. Hello, plus. Hello, plus. Hello, everybody. Remember the show, Nave's cooking show? Well, it's back. All right, everyone. So remember, the first thing, always wear white when cooking. All right. The next thing is let's go to the sink. Now, let's wash those dirty mitts of ours. Who knows what they've been touching, or grabbing, or whatever. Okay, roll it around, roll it around, make sure you wash your hands nice and clean. So now, we are good. Let's get to the main part of watching this freaking show. Now today's segment is going to be called Pizza from Mars. It's my own little creation. It's very healthy. It has the essentials you need, at least for your daily diet. Um, it's all around tasty. I think it's delicious. I mean, I made it. Uh, hello, people. It's good. <laughs> all right. So back to cooking with knaves. Ingredients time. Whew, this way. All right, everybody. So one thing you need is a some wheat tortillas. Yes, wheat. None of that white flour crap, because that stuff is not good for you. All right, some cheese, preferably white cheese, because that orange cheese dyed cheese. So we want, you know, some cheese, or you can have block cheese, or whatever cheese you prefer. I prefer provolone. This is mozzarella, and this is some British royal whatever cheddar. Um, next what you need is this little, you know, Pam, okay? Pam, we need Pam, of course. And um, you can use butter, butter substitute. We're trying to be healthy here, people. Now remember guys, most of these ingredients are fairly cheap, so I also suggest you getting some pizza sauce. This is only like a buck. Let's zoom in here, focus, focus, come on. Focus, not me. Don't focus on me. Focus on this thing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, pizza sauce. All right, got the pizza sauce. Or you can use um, Alfredo sauce. People like to mix it up. I don't really know anyone else who knows my recipe for this. But yeah, one other thing is onions. I'm not going to display onions because you know what onions look like. Or maybe I'll show a little picture right here. All right, you get it. <laughs> Okay, so, what else do we need? What else do we need? Um, how about, oh, don't forget spinach. Spinach is also a key with this. Alright, so, here's the list of stuff you need. Go out and get it, or whatever. Pause this video and come back. I'll still be here, shirtless, with this white hat. I'm a chef, remember, white hat. And these, whatever, you can't see, but white shorts. Anyway, all right. All right, everybody, the next step is to turn on your little stove. Personally, I like, I like gas stoves. I personally like gas stoves. I can't stand electric stoves. That is just me, excuse me, sorry, people, sorry. All right, next, we butter up. Cannot have this thing sticky. <coughs> Not a really big fan of pan either. I actually like placing the butter on top of here. So the next step is let's place our wheat tortillas. And if you don't like wheat tortillas, I don't know, it tastes the same to me as flour, but it's more healthier. So now you place this down so it looks like this, nice and flat. Next step is the Cheese? No way! Okay, let's put the cheese on here. Um, Alright, let's do the cheese. Cheese time! So we just sprinkle the cheese, or cut the cheese, and lay them down. Usually I get provolone, but we ran out of that. Provolone is a lot better than this danky cheese I'm using, as an example. I was actually literally not going to make this showingly, or I wasn't literally going to show you guys how to make this, but, oops, oh well, 
guess I showed you guys now. Too late now. I already opened the cheese. All right. So this is the part where if I had spinach, I would put down spinach. So some people don't like spinach. Blah blah blah. I don't know. So I would put the spinach there. This is that's the whole purpose of it being called Life on Mars Pizza because you'll get it when I okay. You'll just get it when I'm done with this thing. Okay. So you place the other tortilla on top. So. You know, we don't have very much of that left. So you place that on top. Make sure it's on like a medium, medium-ish. Because if it's on a high, you don't want it to burn. Oh, sorry, I forgot one last little tool. Spatula. Sorry about that. Okay, so turn it over. It should be maybe like a little, just turn it a little bit, maybe check to see if it's a little bit lightly brown, crisp, whatever. Um. See, it's already melting. Basically, it's, in a sense, it's kind of a quesadilla, but you'll see why it's not a quesadilla. It's better than a quesadilla. That's why it's my own little creation. Uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, well, this is quite obvious, but you guys need a plate to place this on, so I'm not going to have that as an ingredient. I think that's kind of ridiculous. Two other tools you'll need is probably a pizza slicer, as well as this knife. Maybe not such a large knife, maybe like a butter knife. I'm exaggerating with this thing, but maybe this. But if you do not have this, that's okay. Do not go out and buy it because you're wasting your money. This thing, knife, that's what you need. Ha! Huh. All right, so I got myself a nice little square plate or round, whichever you prefer. All right, so this looks maybe done. See, it doesn't really even take that long. I mean, the cheese is already melted, so you don't have to overdo it. Turn off your thing, turn off your stove, whatever. Next step. We have our plate with our cheese in the middle, as it should look like. And hopefully, you guys added spinach, because we're trying to eat healthy here. And now, see the sauce? I just opened the sauce. The pizza sauce. This thing's only like a buck. Maybe two bucks, wherever you are. Maybe you're in some country where pizza sauce is a rarity. So here we have the sauce. You have the, the knife, even though I'm dramatic with this knife, it's like a killer knife. We have to, you know, spread it around. Spread it around. Now, somebody out there, please explain to me, why do you think this is called pizza? Life on Mars pizza. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, hmm, this looks like Mars. Okay. <laughs> so that is why it is called Life on Mars pizza. And... Occasionally, when I brought back the ingredient of onions, I usually like to sprinkle onions on top too, but I don't have any either. Even though this is a really good example of what I'm talking about. So you guys will get the point. And the next part is where this thing is, where you don't have to buy it, so don't waste your money on buying this stupid thing. I, I was lucky to have it in this kitchen. And you cut it into like a little pizza thing. You have nice four little pieces, and when you would open this and take it apart, what would happen is there would be green here, so this looks like Mars, and life on Mars, green inside. It's a good little healthy snack. Um, sometimes I might eat two of these whole things, so maybe I would make two of them if I were you, because I'm kind of a little bit buffer now, I guess. So, all right. Um, I miss doing that. It's been a while since the new little cute little cooking show things, but um. One second, let me adjust the camera. That was Cooking with Nave. It's been a while, but hey, I taught you my own little thing and I thought it'd be kind of cool to do that and show you my um, ginormous body that I just recently started to build up. I mean, I might as well show it off if, um, you know, if I'm working out. All right. You guys have a lovely day, and remember, um, eat healthy, because that's the best you can do. Stay away from McDonald's. Actually, no. McDonald's makes some good oatmeal. I only suggest their oatmeal. Other than that, maybe their, their little ice cream cones. I like the little ice cream cones. I suggest that, too. Although, I eat whatever the heck I want, but not encouraging that for those who are trying to eat healthy. But, um... Thank you for watching Nave's Cooking Show. Goodbye. <laughs>